Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Hello and welcome. I'm Marshall Brain and today I'm going to start with a really simple question. Let's say I take this egg and I hold it up here about 24 inches above this countertop and I drop it. What do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. It breaks. Yes, every time you drop an egg 24 inches from here to the countertop, it's going to break. Our question today, though, is how can we prevent that from happening? So let's talk for one minute about what's happening here. The egg is 24 inches in the air. We drop it. By the time it gets down here, it's going pretty fast, and the countertop is asking it to go from that speed down to zero miles an hour in an instant. It's basically going, 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 and then all of a sudden it has to stop. And that going from speed to no speed in zero seconds creates a lot of force on the eggshell. The eggshell is pretty strong. We can tap it like this, and from a certain speed it's okay. But from 24 inches overhead down, or from 100 feet overhead and down, it would be very hard for the eggshell to have enough strength to absorb all that force. So the eggshell cracks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a system here that can absorb the energy instead of having the eggshell absorb it and keep the eggshell intact when it lands. Now we can come up with all kinds of systems that can absorb the energy of that egg when it falls. But one of the simplest would be to just stack up some layers of paper towels until we make a cushion that's thick enough to absorb the energy of the fall. Now, I could put down one paper towel. Do you think that that's enough to absorb the energy of the fall? And the easiest way to find out is to just try it. We'll put our egg at 24 inches and no, that is not enough padding. So let's try that again. What if I were to peel off 10 paper towels and try that? Let's see what happens. There's 10 paper towels. I come up here to 24 inches and I drop the egg. Here's a nice pad of 24 paper towels. Let's see what happens when we drop the egg onto that. 24 inches up. It cracked just a little bit. Now I've got a nice pad of 30 paper towels. And just to be fair, it's about two inches thick, so I'm going to drop my egg from 26 inches rather than 24 inches just to account for all that padding. But let's see what happens. I come up here 26 inches high, I drop the egg, and it didn't break. So two inches of padding with paper towels is enough padding to keep this egg from breaking if we drop it from 24 inches above the pad. Now think about how simple this experiment was. We started with a question, how can I keep an egg from breaking when it falls? And I came up with a really simple system that can do that. It's a pad of 30 paper towels. Now what I'd like you to do is try to think of other systems that could accomplish the same thing. For example, what if you took a plastic bag and just inflated it a little bit and let the egg drop onto that? Would that keep it from breaking? What about foam rubber, say carpet backing or something like that? What about fabric? What about a bowl of breakfast cereal? Try a bunch of different things and see what it takes to keep that egg from breaking. And then maybe try some different heights. Try it from a foot. Try it from two feet. Try it from three feet. Try it from your second story down onto the floor. Try some different heights and see how does that change the amount of padding you need or the system you have to create to keep that egg from breaking. And from that, if you use some creativity, you can actually learn a lot of new things just from doing little experiments with eggs and paper towels and fabric at home. Have fun performing your own science experiments. Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.